Ahoy ahoy fellow bookworms, my name is Caroline and I like to read books, so let's talk about them. Today's video is going to be my August wrap up. I read four books this month and I'm really excited to share my thoughts with you guys. I actually had to work really hard to avoid saying I only read four books this month because I put so much pressure on myself as a reader to read as many books as I possibly can in a month to the point where reading four books that I really enjoyed feels almost like something I need to apologize for, but I am working on that. I just really wanted to say that before I got into things. Like I said, I read four books this month. One of them was a book that I had been wanting to read for ages and ages, and three of them were new releases that I was quite excited for. So let's get into the wrap up. The first book I read is A Little Life by Hanya Yanagihara, which took me quite a while to read because it is a 720 page book, but I really, really enjoyed this one. The writing in this was just so beautiful, I was so invested in the characters and their lives because the story was just so immersive, I cared so much about everything that happened, the writing was so smooth, I would lose myself in the story so much, I would sit down to read it and suddenly it would be like an hour later and I had read, you know, a hundred or something pages and I would not know where that time had gone because this was just so, so amazing. There were plenty of moments in the first half of the book where I thought the writing was being a little too descriptive, but then at the end when I realized how attached I was to all the characters and what a journey I had been on with them, I was really grateful for all those descriptions at the beginning. I do have to say that there was some really confronting stuff in here that I wish I had known more about going into because it was quite hard to read at times and I think a lot of other people would find it quite difficult to read as well, but there's some quite graphic descriptions of self-harm and abuse, both mental and physical and sexual. If that's something that's going to upset you, you should definitely know that going in, but honestly the writing in this book was beautiful. I love the characters and the journey that they go on. Even though it isn't a happy book, I do think it's really excellent and I ended up giving this 4 out of 5 stars. Next up I read The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee, which a lot of people had hyped up for me, and although I enjoyed it, I was definitely a little let down. I did really love Monty and Percy's relationship and the way that it developed throughout the story. I thought they had so many cute moments and I just wanted them to be happy, and I really loved that aspect of the story. But I didn't particularly like Monty as a main character and I didn't really like that he was the narrator of the story just because I found him to be quite like arrogant and selfish and I know that that was probably intentional. He had kind of changed by the end of the book but not really enough and I just didn't find him that likeable. The adventure aspects of the story were quite fun and I really enjoyed Felicity's role in the whole thing as well but the main thing that I cared about was the male-male romance with Monty and Percy so I ended up giving this book a 3.5 out of 5 stars. After that I read God Blind by Anna Stevens and I have kind of mixed feelings about this book. There are plenty of negatives that I could list for this book. I think the world building was completely lacking. The only thing I really know is that the two feuding kingdoms in it worship different gods. Like I don't know what clothes they wear or what they eat or what they like to do or what their languages sound like or anything like that. I just know that they worship different gods. I think the character development and descriptions was really not great. Like it got halfway through the book and it was mentioned that one of the characters had red hair and I was like hang on. What? And then I realized that I didn't know what any of the characters looked like at all because they had never been properly described. And the other thing that was really frustrating was that the perspective chapters were like three pages each. We have ten different perspectives in this. So it switches way too frequently to way too many characters and so we end up with not enough character development and a million perspectives, some of which were really unnecessary. With all that being said though, I did still quite enjoy this book. I found it quite fast paced and entertaining and I liked the direction it was going in. So I'm kind of conflicted about how to rate it, but I would probably give it about a 3 out of 5 stars and maybe check it out if you're interested. The final book that I read in August is Eliza and Her Monsters by Francesca Zappia, which I finished last night and really enjoyed. This book was weirdly relatable because it's all about anxiety surrounding what it's like to live a life online. Our main character Eliza writes this really popular webcomic and has to deal with a lot of stuff related to that while she also struggles with anxiety and going to high school. And I just thought this book was so, so sweet. It reminded me a lot of Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell and I loved that book as well. The love interest in this book is a guy named Wallace and for most of the book I really loved him. He was quiet and would write notes to Eliza and I just thought he was the sweetest thing ever but then towards the end of the book I kind of started to like him less and by the end of the book I really didn't like him so that was kind of a bummer for me. Overall though this book was so cute. I really loved the illustrations in it and I loved the story and I can see why so many other people loved it and I would probably give this about a 4 out of 5 stars. That brings us to the end of this video though guys. Be sure to let me know down in the comments what you thought of the books that you read in August. I upload videos Wednesdays, Saturdays and sometimes Mondays as well so be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Toodaloo!